OK, Ella, let's have a look at a, a very different story in The Times about a gender-neutral Joan of Arc. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you some cultural news today. So mm. inside The Times, there is, you know, the, the thing about The Globe is that it, and, and particularly under the artistic directorship of Michelle Terry, who's been there for a number of years, that you know, she has introduced um, different interpretations of Shakespeare and other plays from different playwrights along the lines of kind of diverse... Uh, casting, diverse, um, a diverse kind of production. And so this gender-neutral Joan of Arc, the play is called I, Joan, um, is no surprise to those of us who've been, you know, keeping an eye on the globe for a while. The thing is, um, you know, and Michelle Terry makes a, uh, you know, quite a solid point for artistic freedom here, quoted in the Times about the fact that, you know, theatres don't engage in the realms of reality. So what if we play around with a historical figure like Joan of Arc? Um, you know, the whole point of when you go and it's kind of you, you leave you, reality at the door when you go to the theatre and you engage in the world of the imaginative. And that's all very true and a very strong point. But the thing about the globe is that for a while now, it has done, it has done gender neutral casting. It's done sort of uh, able body blind casting where it's had people who uh, were mute or deaf playing different characters. And what happens is these plays, whether it's Joan of Arc or Shakespeare plays, become all about the issue of the fact that it's a gender neutral character rather than actually yeah. looking at the play itself and the content Indeed. of the play. And, and, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, and I, I, I'm sure you will. Um, you know, that's fine for the actors, but if the story itself is about a female martyr, which mm. was the whole point of the Joan of Arc story, what's the point to changing it to a gender-neutral stance? Yeah, well, I don't understand that. I mean, indeed, and, and the whole point of Joan of Arc, I mean, you know, the, the, it's a balance, isn't it? Because I think the point Michelle Terry is saying, well, you know, we can do any, we can, we can subvert these stories in any way, that's what the theatre is for. OK. But indeed, if you're an audience member going to watch... Um, this and expecting to hear the story of and watch the story of Joan of Arc. Um, you know, you she was <laughs> first and foremost a religious crusader. Yeah. I mean, the idea that the, the sole thing you'd be going to watch is a kind of playing around with gender is a bit ridiculous. And Frank Ferreira, who's a, an academic um, and, a, and an author, is quoted here in the Times talking about the fact that this is just a projecting of a fantasy backwards. And I think there is that tendency in the arts at the moment where the kind of a focus on diversity means that rather than dealing with the content of a play and uh, the, all the, you know, particularly with Shakespeare. I mean, there's enough gender bending in Shakespeare to satisfy yeah. you for years. Mm. But we project yeah. modern sensibilities back onto texts uh, and, and works of art from the past in a way that I think is, you know, probably confusing for some audiences, but also it's just a bit tiresome because yeah. you feel like you're just being hit over the head with a political message when you're going to enjoy some art. And I wanted to bring in this tweet as well, uh, saying, isn't this literally erasing a famous woman from history? And women have been erased so much from history throughout I, time. I th yeah, I think you can take the... I, you know, the, the whole point, particularly with Shakespeare, that there has been... I mean, Joan of Arc's not Shakespeare, but the Globe is famous for Shakespeare. You know, we have had... We have had about black Hamlets, we've had female Hamlets, we've had, you know, the whole point of the excitement of... The, particularly the theatre, is in the ability to subvert and have new interpretations. And I think that shouldn't that level of artistic freedom shouldn't be touched. Okay. But it does feel sometimes like this is a very particular modern fad that just gets a bit tiresome.